Hey gang, happy Sunday morning. All right, so I figured we'd do something a little different today. Uh, it's been a long week, as everybody probably knows. Uh, we've talked about some real heavy subjects, so I thought we'd take a, a just an easy one here. Uh, it's a Sunday anyway, and you know, kind of we need a break. So a few of you guys asked me just for kind of a tour of what's going on here on the property and everything like that so i thought i'd take a walk around and show you what we got going on or what i've been doing lately i know it's not super exciting but you guys asked and so i figured i'd show you so let me flip this over and we'll kind of walk around all right so this is where i stand on the smokehouse uh with all the rain lately i did have a day in there where i was able to pour a concrete pad and got that done and got the first row of cinder blocks set up and when it dries out again, I will mortar everything in and uh, put the second layer on. And then, of course, that's the smoke tunnel and I got to build the box and everything. So this is going on up to what Mrs. P and I were doing here on Saturday. And this is what the beginning of the garden looks like. So there's the, the cabbage and the leeks that we play you can't really see the leaks maybe you can but the cabbage is doing wonderful and then today we planted 45 peppers and over there are a bunch of black crim tomatoes those are actually russian tomatoes so the crim is for crimea <laughs> so that was it uh walked out this way a little bit and you can see the Great thing I know a while back we talked about compost. So there's the beginning of this year's compost pile. I know, real exciting, isn't that one? So going to stroll on along. Let's see where else we go. We'll go on down to this garden as we get to it. I know, don't you guys love walking with me? Real exciting here, huh? You know? uh let's see what's going on in this one we got the peas which are eh, tallest ones there probably about three feet high most, most of the rest of them two and a half something like that uh cauliflower row of radishes you know the beans started coming up now beans aren't coming up yet uh the beets are, and you can't even see them really. If you look in the center, there's a little bit of red you can see on that one, maybe. Beets are starting to come up more over on that side. Brussels sprouts, garlic, that's all going. We've got a ton of planting tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Fire pit, yes. The Adirondack chairs, I actually did build those myself. So, yes, go from there. This was going next the fun that i'm also excited about peach tree and there are a whole bunch of little peaches on here so we counted out yesterday probably over three dozen on there so pretty happy about a tree i planted a couple of years ago when i got last year we got two peaches out of it this year it looks like we're gonna get a ton of them so we'll stroll on out to this garden, what's going on? This one, uh, we got way in the back over there was the broccoli we planted last year. So that's there. You can see I got weeds in here already. I don't think any of the potatoes have come up yet. I think it's been too cold this week for anything to come up. It looked, but uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe right there looks like. A potato popping so might have the beginnings to it that'll work okay we'll take that and then i'm gonna be careful where i walk over here i won't go too close because that's down there is where i got the poison ivy but uh y'all were asking about us beating our ass on trees and if you look and this is the first 50 that we have in so there is the whole line of trees up the side yard and 
as I get all the way out, getting close to the street here, and I'll kind of show you the other way so you get an idea what we're going on. There's what, oh, three, six, nine, ten, eleven trees up that side. But if I go from here and look this way, and I'll just walk. <laughs> There's 39 trees along the front of the house here. So, and obviously they're small. They're about a foot high. But if you get the idea, you can see it's just a long row of trees. So, the 300 feet of trees. But that was, oh yes, and of course the Trump sign is there, so you got to see that because that ain't coming down. But, so that's kind of what's been going on or what is going on around here. I'll flip this back over here so you're not looking at the ground as I'm talking. But you all wanted a kind of a view as to what the property is and what we look like, so... I'm just now walking back up toward the house, climbing a hill, pumping along. Yes, I know somebody's probably going to pick on me for puff, puffing, but yes, I'm still doing good. Lost about 13 pounds so far this spring. And yeah, I probably need some cardio work. Not a big surprise. But winter always does it to me, and so now we get to... Do all the work in the spring. Puff, puff, puff. So, oh yeah, if you want to get the fun, there's Mrs. P's flowers and peonies and all the other stuff along the side of the house. Just simple stuff. Nothing super exciting. But let me flip you again here. But okay, so. So that's kind of it. It's a lot of work to do around here. But, you know, I wanted to say this to everybody. And, you know, I hear from you guys a lot about what you're doing and everything. You know, just keep doing it, guys. That's, you know, there is no end. I've said this a million times. You know, none of us are doing the same things. You know, what you do is different than what I do. And all we can do is do our best. Nobody can ask any more out of you than that. So, you know, we all have different limitations, you know, physical limitations, you know, me puffing here, okay, you know, financial limitations, property limitations, whatever it would be, you know, do what you can because anything that you do is more than the next guy is doing. And, you know, if you've got, one more can of beans than you had yesterday or one more plant planted than you had yesterday that's going to serve you great in the future you know it's one more day you can get through because like i've said many times you know none of us is none, none of us have been promised a tomorrow so we do our best you know do as much as you can you know and be proud of yourself for what you do because with all the craziness that's going on in the world you know you actually have your eyes open and are doing something about it as opposed to so many people who have their eyes closed and expect somebody to come save them when, when everything goes to shit. And, you know, they're going to ask us to save them, which is going to be interesting because I'm saving me and Mrs. P and the dogs before I'm saving anybody else. You know, people in my mag and everything like that, we all work together, you know, help each other out. Sure. But, you know, the person who's just had their head in the sand for the last 14 months now, they're not my concern, and they shouldn't be yours either. So I just wanted to give you a real easy, casual, just walk around here on a on a Sunday here. So you all have a, a great day, and unless there's anything crazy going on in the world, I'll see you Monday morning. Have a good one, y'all. Pimble out.